Hi! I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I first got interested in magic. When I was 12 years old, I had a friend who lived down the block from me. His name was Kevin Wilson. His dad gave him three magic tricks, a card trick, a rope trick, and a silk scarf trick. Kevin showed those tricks to me, and it piqued my interest. I got very interested in magic. I had to know how they were done. So he showed me, and then we both started learning magic. And uh, I pursued that uh, for the next three years. Uh, I bought what magic tricks I could. There wasn't a lot of money available at the time at my family, so I wasn't able to purchase a lot of things. Um, I read what books I could find. Uh, there was not a public library in our community, so it, the pickings were few and far between as far as that goes too, but I found a few books. and. Uh, try to construct some props, but again, we didn't have any tools and materials at home, so that was a challenge too. But I did pursue my interest in magic for three years. I gave a few shows during that time. And then when I turned 15, my interest in magic wand, I became more interested in music and started pursuing that instead. Uh, eventually, I graduated from college in 1979 and I spent the uh, next 25 years trying to make a living in music. I worked full-time and part-time jobs to supplement my income. I worked in bands, part-time and full-time, depending on the situation. Uh, finally, in the end of the 90s, I decided I wanted to be able to provide a more secure financial situation for my family, so I went back to school. Uh, in 1999, I got a master's degree, master's degree in library and information science. I started working full-time in libraries then. Uh, I was working at a library in Roselle, Illinois, and one of my jobs in that position was to find um, entertainment for adults, for families. And as I was uh, scour scouring the web one day, I came across my friend's website, Kevin Wilson Magician. I looked him up, and, and there he was. I was quite surprised to find he was still doing magic and, and pleased, so I gave him a call and I invited him to come to the library and put on a magic show for us. And he did, and it was during that show that my interest in magic was reawakened after all those years. It was really fun seeing him again, but watching him do magic, it was just like back when I was 12 years old again, watching him do these magic tricks really reawakened that interest. And so I started uh, getting into magic again, but I had the time and the resources to do it properly. Uh, since I worked in a library, it was real easy for me to get my hands on books and videos, DVDs, that sort of thing. I was making more money, so I could spend a little bit of it on magic props, and, and I had tools and materials so I could make my own um, props as well, so I started doing that. And so uh, that went on for uh, till about 20... 2008 or so, and then I decided I wanted to start performing again. Uh, it was it was a challenge. I'd been playing music for all my adult life, and I was very comfortable being in front of a crowd performing music, but performing magic was entirely a new thing. So even though I was used to being in front of a crowd, it was different being in front of a crowd doing magic. And it was a challenge, but it was a lot of fun. And so that, that got me started on this new uh, part-time magic career that I'm on now. So that takes you from the beginning of my interest to kind of where I am, or where I was a few years ago. Uh, the next video I make, I'll talk about uh, what, how I've developed my show and the sort of things I'm doing now and, and why that is leading me to want, want to go to the uh, McBride Magic and Mystery School in Las Vegas. Thank you very much. Bye.